Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Shell and it's lovely to meet you. If this isn't the first video of mine that you're watching, then welcome back, it's lovely to see you again. Today we're going to be doing yet another of my blindingly fast five minute or less reviews on a book that I finished and today we're going to be talking about Deception Point by Dan Brown. I read this on my Kindle and also sort of alternated, alternated between listening to it and reading it with my eyeballs. The Kindle edition comes in at 456 pages, I believe. This book is a standalone and it's not part of the Robert Landon story arc. You're following a completely different set of characters at a completely different time. So in this particular story, we are in Washington in America and we are following Rachel Sexton, who is the estranged daughter of Senator Sedgwick Sexton, who is gearing up to run for president. Um, the current president is a guy called President Herney. And Rachel Sexton works for the NRO in America. And she, she reports to work one day and her boss tells her that the president wants to see her. So she gets on this chopper and ends up <laughs> in all, in a roundabout way, she ends up on a, a, an ice shelf in the Arctic Circle. What's basically happened is, is that NASA has discovered a meteorite which is sitting under like 300, 200, 300 metres of solid ice and because NASA have had a few oopses lately and Senator Sedgwick Sexton is running on a NASA are a bit shit, let's not give them any more money platform, the president wants to call in civilian scientists to validate NASA's data. So you've got Rachel Sexton, who's an intelligence operative, you've got a marine biologist, you've got a, an astrophysicist, um, you've got a biologist, uh, um, uh, another biology guy and you've got a lady who is an expert on icebergs and surveying ice and things like that. So she ends up getting whisked up there, taken totally off the grid. President himself takes her phone and she goes up there and she helps to validate all of the data. And it's all going really well. But in the other, on the other side of the coin, you're also following a group of covert operatives who are monitoring the situation and determining that people have to die. There's this big secret. And this whole story sort of follows on on that. It's very, very fast paced. Um, and you're sort of jumping between Washington, the Arctic, NASA and these covert operatives who are being um, told what to do by a controller and they don't know who this controller is. And I've got to say I gasped when I found out who the controller actually was because I was so sure it was this one character and it turns out it was somebody completely different for a completely different set of reasons because you wouldn't have thought that they would want to do what they did based on their past history, but there you have it. Um, like I say, it was very fast paced, it was gripping, it was thrilling, the science appeared accurate to my mind, and I ended up giving Deception Point by Dan Brown four stars. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read this book, what you thought of it, if you saw the ending coming, did you know who the controller was? And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.